2016 Mini Cooper S Convertible Manual. The perfect way to Brexit the spring and brander the summer. Those seeking to dial up the fun in a minute convertible can opt for the more powerful S or JCW. The S makes 189 horsepower and adds performance goodies such as a stiffer suspension, sport seats, and 16-inch aluminum wheels. The John Cooper Works kicks out 228 horsepower and gains Brembo brakes, 17-inch wheels, and an electronic locking differential. A six-speed manual is standard on both, a paddle-shifted six-speed automatic is optional. A blast to drive on smooth roads, ride quality suffers on bumpy surfaces. Those seeking to dial up the fun in a minute convertible can opt for the more powerful S or JCW. The S makes 189 horsepower and adds performance goodies such as a stiffer suspension, sport seats, and 16-inch aluminum wheels. The John Cooper Works kicks out 228 horsepower and gains Brembo brakes, 17-inch wheels, and an electronic locking differential. A six-speed manual is standard on both, a paddle-shifted six-speed automatic is optional. A blast to drive on smooth roads, ride quality suffers on bumpy surfaces. Ergonomic oddities notwithstanding, there's a lot to like about Mini's latest rag top, which is now built on the larger, third-generation platform that debuted under the 2014 hardtop. Let's address the elephant in the room first, the 2016 Mini Cooper S convertible isn't cheap. With a starting price of $30,450, it costs $2,760 more than a base fee at 500 c a barth, and $5,500 more than a base Mini Cooper S hardtop. Unlike the Fiat, though, the Mini is a true convertible, there are no B or C pillars or fixed pieces of side glass. If a glorified sunroof suffices, give the Fiat a look. But for the wind in your hair experience associated with convertible ownership, the chic little Italian feels inhibited.